In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create pop-up messages in Tkinter. Hello humans, I'm Kyle and welcome to Code for Humans, the channel dedicated to leveling up your coding skills. So to get started, we're going to create one type of pop-up box, but Tkinter has lots of options for different settings you can have on your pop-up messages, so I'm going to show you six today. Before we get to that, first I'm going to create a button and I'll say BTN show pop-up, and when we click this, that is what's going to spawn the pop-up. So this is going to be on the root GUI. The text will be uh, click for pop-up and the command will be pop-up, which is a function we will make in just a minute. And now I will pack my button. I will make it show up on my GUI. So now I'll define pop-up. I'll say def pop-up. And first let's import our message box module. So just like file dialog, we have to explicitly import the submodule of tkinter. Again, it's because tkinter is so old and has been modified so many times, but what we need to say is from tkinter, import message box. If we were to say tkinter.messagebox, that won't work, and that's why we have to do this special from tkinter import message box statement. So I will say messagebox.showinfo. So this will be our message box. The title of this will be uh, my pop-up and the message will be here's some info. So notice that we don't say text, we say message. And personally, I hate this, but that's how Tkinter decided to make it. Um, so when we're specifying the text that shows up, we say message, not text, like we do with everything else. But that aside, let's run our code and see what we have. Here I have a button and when I click it, I see a message box come up and the title is my pop-up and it says, here's some info and I can press okay and it goes away. I can again click this button and I'll get the same pop-up. Another type of message box we have is instead of show info, we can say show warning. So the difference with this, and I'll run this, when I click this, I'll see this new icon is in my message box. Also, uh, depending on what operating system you're on, the sound that occurs might be different. It really just depends on your operating system. Me on Windows 10, show info and show warning have the same sound, but when we switch this to show error, when I run this, when I click this button, I get a different sound, and also I have this new icon. I have a red X this time. So the only difference between show info, show warning, and show error or the icons and sometimes the sound they play. But what if I wanna ask my user a question? What if I want them to confirm that they wanna do an action or cancel and get out of it? Well, there's also options for that. So I'll create ask question, message box dot ask question. And I'm going to create a variable to store this message box. So I'll call this MSG box and I'll set that equal to what we had. So now, whatever the response to my question is will be stored here. And then I will print message box. So let's run this. I'll click for my pop-up and it'll say the same title and message, but now I have yes and no as my options. So let's click yes and I'll drag over my console and now you can see yes appears here. I'll click my pop-up again and hit no and now you can see no appears here. So whenever we click one of those buttons, ask question returns either yes or no, and these are strings. So if we wanted to, we could close this and say, if message box equals yes, then print, we did it. And then we could say else, print, we failed. So this is how we set up if statements to work with the responses that we get out of our message boxes. So I'll drag over the console and I'll drag over the GUI. And now when I hit yes, we'll see the message yes print out, but we also see we did it because message box contains the string yes. So the rest of the message boxes I'm going to show you work in the same way as ask question. So I'm just gonna quickly go over some examples. Instead of ask question, we can say ask okay cancel. And this works pretty much the same. So I'll drag this over. Now when I hit click for pop-up, it says here's some info, okay or cancel. 
When I hit okay, I get true though. I don't get the string okay, I get the boolean true. And likewise, when I hit cancel, I get false. So that's an important distinction. So if you're setting up if statements, make sure you're checking for true or false in your conditions. Lastly, we have ask yes no cancel. And you can probably guess what this does, but I'll show you anyway. So when we run this, I'll hit click for pop-up and I can hit yes and I get true. When I hit no, I get false. And here's the, uh, the weird part. When I hit cancel, I get none. So none is basically the null operator in Python. So just make sure you're checking for the appropriate response depending on which type of message box you have. But that's it for this video. A big thank you for liking, subscribing, and ringing that bell. Comment below with suggestions for future videos and I will see you in the next one.